Hi everyone, Jason here at the Whittier Public Library Children's Department with our next steam-powered science take-home science activity. Today we're going to be using a toy car to investigate momentum and friction. So here's what you're going to have in your kit. You should have a uh, Hot Wheel track, you should have a paper tape measure, you should have some tape and a few washers, and of course a toy car. Now a couple things you're also going to need, you will also need a notepad to write down some numbers, you'll need a pencil or pen, some, some, something else to make some marks, and you will need something like a small box, some blocks, maybe a stack of books, something that you can prop the track up on. A small box about this size would probably be just about right. So thanks for joining us today. Let's go ahead and go outside and get started. Okay, so now we're outside and we're ready to get started. Remember, you don't have to do these experiments outside if you don't want to. If you have a long hallway or a large room with no carpeting, feel free to do them inside. I decided to do them outside um, to make sure to find some fairly smooth pavement. Now, a few things before you get started. We're gonna do three runs each. And we're gonna do three runs with no added weight on the car. We're gonna make sure to measure and find out how car far the car goes. And we're going to record those on a piece of paper or a notebook. Next, we're gonna add the weight, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. And then we're gonna do three more runs and we're gonna record those. We're gonna find out which ones were, were longer and which ones the car went further. So um, a few things before you start. First of all, you notice I have a little box. I have taped my track to the box, as you can see here. That will keep the track from moving so that we can make sure all the runs are going in the same direction. Also, I used my pencil. I made a small mark on the track. It's a little hard to see, but I made a small mark on the track so I can make sure to start the car in exactly the same place every time. So the car should be starting exactly the same place every time. Also, don't move the box once you have choose to, chosen a location. Your box, blocks, uh, stack of books, whatever you're using to prop the track up. Make sure to not move it between trials because if it's going over a different stretch of pavement or floor, it'll be a little bit different bumps and that can affect the outcome. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's start by doing some runs with no added weight to the car. See how that works out. Remember to always start the car in the same spot. All right, now let's add some weight and see what happens. Now, so we're gonna need our tape and we're gonna need some washers. We're gonna add some washers to the top to add a little weight to the car. So here's how, what we're gonna do. First of all, we're gonna take our tape and we're going to attach it to the side of the car like that, right there, just to the side. Make sure you keep it clear of the wheels. Then we're gonna take our three washers and put those on top of the car like that and then we're going to wrap that around those washers we're going to try and get it up close to the side of the car as much as possible oops got that a little wrinkled up that's fine okay we're going to take it down the other side and again we're going to get it as close to the side of the car as possible now we're going to go around the bottom of the car just around the bottom once if you do it too many times it'll get thick it'll scrape on the ground and go back up around the washers as tight as possible, around the side, back down the side, and there we go. Okay, now let's try three runs with some added weight. See how it affects our distances. Run number one. All right, so let's add those up and see how the distance was affected by adding the weight. And here's our totals. With no added weight, the car went an average of 26 and two thirds inches. With added weight, it went an average of 31 inches, which means that on each run, with the added weight, it went an average of four and a third inches further. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what happened here today. What we're studying today is momentum. 
And moment, momentum is just a way to measure how much something that's already moving wants to keep moving. Now there's two things that go into a momentum. One is mass, or the weight of the item, and one is velocity, or the speed of the item. To find the momentum, you're going to multiply the mass times the velocity, and that will give you your total momentum. So if you increase the mass by adding washers, you should increase the momentum, which means this car wants to keep going and will slow down a le less quickly, and so it will usually probably travel further. When I did the test, I did find that the car traveled further, but your results may be different. If they were different, that may be due to friction. Friction is what causes this car to slow down and eventually stop. So the wheels of the car rub against the, the surface, and as it does that, it creates friction, it loses some energy, and gradually it will stop. Now, if you add weight to the car, you may also increase the friction a little bit because more weight pressing down may cause those wheels to rub a little harder. So in most cases in my tests, I found that the momentum was the main factor and that um, the car went further with added weight. However, you may have found a different result. So that's it for our experiment today. Thank you for joining us. And um, if you'd like to learn more, please stop by the Whittier Library. Um, you can find some books to check out about things like um, Forces in Motion. You can find books about cars. We even have a book about Hot Wheels for you to check out if you want to learn more about Hot Wheels. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you next time.